that doesn't make your mouth water <laughs> right. Now, you know, great breakfast hash is nice all year long, but if you want fall twist and his hearty favorite, Chef Leo Davolo with Sticks and Stone is back to share his recipe because you love these good fall vegetables. Oh, yeah, fall vegetables, you know, acorn squash, butternut squash. Mm. You know, growing up, there was a couple of dishes that were done with acorn squash that I just did not love. And now as I got older, I was like, wow, I was really missing out. So <laughs> kind of to make up for lost time, we try to make sure we incorporate a lot of the stuff that I didn't like growing up into future stuff going on. That one on? I don't think so. There we go. And this yeah. is a fall, you're doing a fall twist. Thank you, Mike. Yeah, yeah. fall twist on it. So, um, you know, my sous chef with me today, Hunter, he's from New Mexico. So we try to utilize hatch green chili as much as we can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mike, so right here, if you want to go ahead and throw that in the pan. So, you know, also like we talk about when you're cooking mm. friends and family, if you have extra time, how do you save that time when meal is coming up? Because yeah. nobody likes to be in the kitchen for two hours prepping a meal and then having to serve your family and clean. So little some uh, get ahead tricks as we do about 375, we'll roast off the acorn squash, butternut squash, sweet potato. Then the broccolini, we'll do kind of a la minute, last minute, just a pan sear on it. And then if you want it in the yellow bowl, add some of that chorizo. So this one is kind of like a double protein right there. Oh, this it's one. Okay. a chorizo hash and you're going to get the hatch green chili pork chop. Oh, wow. Okay. And you said what Love it. basically is hash? Is it just vegetables? Hash is kind of like like a, like a catch all for everything, right? So like we throw in ours a little bit of bell pepper, onion, garlic. Um, we'll throw some carrots, some broccolini. Ooh. Um, you know, red onions we prefer over yellow sweet. Just they give us that nice acidity. Plus they work well with our pickled red as well. So I mean, just you know, hash is kind of whatever you want to make it, um, as long as it's hearty. I feel like that's like that's almost like a you know an adult breakfast. Like you need that fuel to get yeah. going through the day. That's what it's about. That's going to be the Sunday breakfast where you don't have to eat for the rest. <laughs> of the exactly, day. exactly. Yeah, come out to our Sunday brunch. We'll take care of you. Go home, nap, watch a movie, and, whatever you decide to do. And hash is also you said one of those things where you just walk up to the fridge and open it up and go. Yeah. Uh, uh, I got leftover this, yeah. this, this. Yeah, oh, and even man, like right? greens, because sometimes we'll throw in mixed greens. So, you know, that bag of spring mix that's just been sitting in the yes. back of your cooler for, you know, three weeks that's about to wilt. We'll throw some of that <laughs> yeah. in there as well. Green onions work really nice. So, hash is really anything that you want to make it. And then from there, it just makes it that much simpler. I like how simpler. you can add the veggies, but then the protein. Yeah, absolutely. You can be an all veggie hash. Um, we add everything cooked to order. So if we want to customize it for any of our friends who prefer different meat options or don't do pork. And then Mike, once that's ready, you can go right in that big bowl. All right. And then you're going to get going on two eggs. So we prefer medium eggs. Um, just on our Ooh. side, we like a little bit of a sticky yolk. Should I but, put this guy on there? Yeah. So then that pork chop. So what we did is we, you know, utilize sous vide. So a lot of different cooking, you'll hear a lot of different people mm. love and hate sous vide. We really love it. So we vacuum sealed the pork chop with our hatch green chili sauce that we made in house. Let that sit for about 24 hours. We sous vide to about 140, um, and then we'll finish it on the flat top to give it that nice sear and color. And I like what you mentioned about Hunter because you guys are able to kind of combine. Yeah, the different... absolutely. I mean, that's what it is. So, like Chef Adriana, she's my pastry chef. Chef Kendra, she's one of our line cooks, and then Michelle, she's our front of the house liaison. Like we take ideas and inspiration from everybody so that you know everybody's input can come in. We can see their creative flair, their cooking style, and kind of go from there and just kind of bridge the gap on all of our cuisines. So for brunch, that starts at 10 on Sundays, and what are a few other of the, yeah, co every, the customer favorites? Yeah, every Sunday, 10 to 3, so we do our version of potato, egg, and cheese tacos. So we do our, our masa, we make a lime-infused mashed potato, throw a little bit of Oaxaca Ooh. cheese, oh, wow. and then we almost like clean close it like an empanada would. And then we flash fry those, and then it gets served with two eggs as well. Um, we do cool. a uh, our version of sa poutine. So we have a chorizo oh, cream gravy. This, okay, go slow with this one. Listen to this. Because poutine is usually it's a Canadian. Yeah, it's thing, a Canadian cheesy. dish with mozzarella curds. So we just kind of made it San Antonio style. So and there's your big red. Yeah, and the barbacoa. big red and barbacoa. That's a fan favorite Tacos. as well. So we do hand cut sweet potato fries. Then oh we'll God. do our version of chorizo cream gravy, and then. Um, yeah, I know it gets a little sticky. But we should have this one oil. over here is a great <laughs> example. <laughs> do, you have, do you have oil? Is there oil? We, uh, we took it off the table. We took it off. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, yeah I'll, we'll, we'll do you know, we could flip them and call them fried hard, Mike. It's okay. <laughs> Everybody, I like fried hard eggs too. We'll, we'll make it too. happen. Um, but yeah, that poutine is hand cut sweet potato, chorizo cream gravy. And then from there, we add uh, queso fresco, a little bit of mole verde. Ooh, we tried. <laughs> they, they got a little bit. I didn't have oil. And Ted's laughing Again, at me, so. go visit Leo. Leo will take care of you. Again, SALive.com for more information on sticks and stone. You can just click that ad scene on SA Live tab for more information. Leo, thanks for doing your version here. Mike's trying so hard for you. But that's why you do what you do, and he does what he does. Thank you guys so much.